wouldn't be fall without pumpkins, right? And today, Paige is showing us a budget-friendly and high-end inspired DIY perfect for our seasonal home decor. Paige, these are beautiful. I saw them around the house, yes. and I was like, where did we get these fancy pumpkins? Well, I love that you say high-end inspired. Yes. Because you look at these, and these look like the... the the things that you pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for. What in That the are world? porcelain and that are so, um, you know, like if you break them, you're in trouble. But look at this. Wow. Fake ones. Wow, careful. Fake ones. Don't smash it. No, now, you what don't. are they called? Help me with the name of this because I'm having a okay. little trouble. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. Okay, they're called chinoiserie. Chinoiserie. Yes, it's a French word. I, it's French, but it's not a French word I'm familiar with. Okay. So anyway, that's Maybe it's, it didn't make it to Canada. And, and, and what does it mean? Okay, it means fancy. No, actually, years ago in the 17th and 18th century, um, Europe loved Asian design. Okay. And so they kind of took it into their textiles, into clothing. I see. Um, right now, we're taking them into paper. Paper napkins, Man. so you can see they made their way down. I but you know what? I, they're also they look like porcelain when you're done. No, they, so they, they look really, really do, expensive. Uh, look spectacular. Yes. They're an eye-catching uh, decor in your house. Yes. And we're starting with napkins. Who knew this? Paper napkins okay. too. You, you probably could do this with real napkins, but why would you ruin some yeah. when these are really, really easy? Okay. So now we've got a regular napkin here. Okay. Let's now, touch. Before we yep. open that up, you want to open that up first? I want to ask you about the pumpkins. Oh, yes. Uh, with respect to what kind of pumpkins should we get? Can we do these with real pumpkins? And, you know, do you have to find white ones? Well, What's going on? I mean, you can see I've got some real pumpkins over here, and you definitely could do this, but this is going to go bad. So you're only going to have them for the season. Okay. You do them on fake ones like this, and you can have them year after year after year. Okay. And I love it because it's not just, you know, it's not just Halloween or it's not just a certain part. When fall hits, you can keep it all the way through Christmas. That's true versus exactly. sort of like the orange pumpkin. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's all the way fall yes. as well. Um, so, okay, so the first thing I want to yeah. do is take a beautiful paper napkin and take out the second ply. We don't need this, and this comes off really easily, but what will happen here is that this will kind of block some of the beauty that's coming through here. So we want to get rid of that. I got you. I didn't even know napkins were double ply. I, I mean, it's, Well, it depends. Yeah. Maybe yours aren't. The, yeah, maybe we get the cheap yes. ones. Okay. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is kind of cut, um, honest, like, actually, I'm going to teach you a little yeah, tiny trick sure. here. Uh, I'm going to grab this tiny little one. You got if it. it's small, you can do this. Just take yours, put it underneath, okay. press it through, and cover it. Okay. But for the larger ones, that's for the little ones. I'm yep. going to put that guy back. Um, for the larger ones, you're going to want to cut them into strips. And you can see here the strips that I've done. You got these so, templates right here? Yeah. Um, yes. So you, you want to do some long strips. But because I love this pattern so much, and you can kind of see how it really shines on this pumpkin. Yeah. So we're going to start with these, the got longer it. pieces. And this is going to connect the top to the bottom like this. Do you see how that goes on? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, that is just for show because now we have to put on Mod Podge. Got it. That's what's going to do it. And so that's then, what we're going to do. But first we apply the Mod Podge. That's what we're using. First Mod Podge, yep. And then we're going to put more, more Mod Podge on top, which makes it kind of stick properly, kind of right? Kind of stick. But you want to oh, be careful on, because we are working with paper napkins, like okay. I said. They will rip if you get a little too rambunctious you with got the it. fabric. I'm right. going right into it, Paige. I'm, I'm diving it. ahead. I'm, I'm jumping ahead. Do it. Okay, so then you want to Push it this way. Yep. Oh, I and then, more down here. you know, inside the pumpkins, we've got these little tiny ridges. You just want to take your um, finger and uh -huh. gently do it because it will okay. rip. Okay. And put it, put that inside. What happens if you get a little wrinkle? Um, if I'm you, asking for a friend, like not for me. Not for, of course not. Yes. No, if you get a little wrinkle, totally okay. Okay. Because we are going to cover it a little bit more with um, some of the other fabric. Now, do we go over top of it with Mod Podge now or do we add the other kind of... Nope. Um, we do it. Because we are, we're going to do it, we're almost using this like um, as a cement paste to get our next layer on. Okay, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. What about the white pumpkin? Do you have to find white pumpkins in the store or what can you do? You can spray paint them white. I like them white because it kind of gives that porcelain look. Okay, so if you um, had an orange one, you'd recommend going white? I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd spray paint it white just okay. to make your life a little bit easier. Good, good. Um, or if you want the color to come through, you know, this is up to you. It's DIY, good. so it's whatever you want to do. Now, see, I've cut these because I love this pattern. Whoops. Where's, love this pattern right yeah. here. Yeah, where does and that I want go? that to show. So this can kind of be the background, but then every maybe third little... Um, little place that you put it on, you want to make sure that this really shines. Oh, because also it covers up and you get, am I supposed to overlap here? Yes. Oh, yep. Oops. So overlap. <laughs> no, see, like you've never done this before and look at how good it looks. And at the end, this is one of those projects when you're looking at it, you're like, oh no, it's not going to look pretty. You you take a step back and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm a genius. Can I ask you one last question? Of I know, course. I, I know I'm, I'm 
giving you tons of questions about mm -hmm. this because I'm taking this seriously. <laughs> I, and I enjoy Do it. Do I have to match up the pattern? Can you get away with not matching up the pattern? Well, or? you know, our history, <laughs> we yeah. have trouble with patterns. That's why I'm asking. Yes, um, I would say no, because look at this. If you look at this one that I've already done, you can kind of see the pattern, but look closely. It doesn't match up. Okay. But it's still so beautiful so you that you can, don't realize. So if you get kind of close with the pattern, that's okay. Exactly. I didn't even make an effort to match up my pattern. I just was kind of slapping. You know it what? And there. it's so going to dry nice. clear. And so if you want to then go back in and put yep. your favorite pattern, part of the pattern on, great. Okay. So good. now for the top. Yes. Now let's talk about the stem. You could leave them just normal. Like I mean, obviously that's beautiful. But because we're going to pretend these are okay. porcelain and very expensive, yes. um, all I did was take a little bit of copper. Yep. And I'm just going to paint the stem with copper. Now you could get, you know, you could get very, very um, cautious and put some blue tape on, so that make sure that you don't get it on any other part. But honestly, it's real easy, and you can wipe it off if it does get on the pumpkin. I mean, we are off to a great start. You're, that one looks amazing. Uh, there well you go. Done. Mine needs a little extra work. I'm going to have uh, I'm going to have Paige pageify it in a second here. <laughs> Full instructions, everybody. Go to HallmarkChannel.com. Paige, well done. These Thank look you. very rich, everybody. Don't they look very rich? And simple and, and easy to do. And how do you say the word? Uh, Shinwasari? Yes. Oh, yes. You graduated. Yay.